The main difference that I would say to you, there's two big differences I would think of typically. If you think of um, Apple devices and those Android devices like the Nexus or the Galaxy, um, if I were to look at the Apple device at 16 gigs Wi-Fi only and the Android device 16 gigs Wi-Fi only 10 inch and 10 inch, um, the Android is $100 cheaper. $100 talks to me. Um, the big reason why I advocate for iPad over Android in the adult ed classroom right now is because of reasons like being able to replicate and mirror that image in front of the class. Because if you have an iPad or if you have an iPhone, you can be pushing your image up here too. So when I work with students, it's possible for me to say, well, what are you looking at? Or, you know, can you share that mathematical problem with me that you wrote out? And they can just quickly push it up there. And the focus of the classroom is not on the student at the whiteboard, right? Because everybody's looking up here, even though the student can be in the back row. So to me, the iPad and the Apple TV are a very important component together. Um, but supposedly this, later this summer or fall, Google is supposed to releasing, be releasing something called a Chrome key. And it's coming out at a third of the cost of the Apple TV. So it's coming out at about $30. And it will be able to mirror any Android device whether it be that Pantech, whether it be that, you know, whether it be the, the Fire, the, that Kindle Fire or whatever. And so I'm really looking forward to that, that coming out because I think it gives more playability options. Yes? 